said, okay, I want to make money too. I'm going to change my career. I want to become an accountant. And that shifted my journey to being like, uh, having to choose commercial, you know. Uh, you know, in um, secondary school, you have commercial science and arts. So I said, I want to be in the commercial class. And I was doing accounting. In fact, I was one of the best students in accounting when I was in school, uh, in my school then. So I did accounts, a lot of those stuff. Uh, but one thing happened uh, during this period, I, I think um, when people don't know, they, they come to me, I teach them. In fact, there was a time that our account teacher was living and he said that if you want to really learn the rudiments of accounts, meet Ahmed and some other people in the school, like in the classroom and everything, like meet them, uh, they can teach you. So they came to us like individual, like individual, we were teaching them uh, individually and I said, no, 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 I won't teach you individually, like everybody has this problem. Uh, let's go to your classroom and let's teach everyone. So I wasn't thinking about that one person that, that's going to come to me. I was thinking about other people, you know, and there was a part that was saying 15 people first uh, before anything. So I said 15 people first at that, uh, at that age, uh, teaching account. Even if, if, if those times were my prep time and I had to reach, you know, to pass also. I, I go to my junior classes and I teach them, my volunteers to teach them. And, uh, so um, um, one of those things I did then. Um, that was, I think that was the spirit of uh, the humanitarian start from and when we look at the domains of learning in education, so I studied education, so I have all of this, and now it's coming back. Um, so I, I, there, there are three domains, uh, we have the cognitive, we have the affective, and we have the psychomotor. So okay. I, I think I was more of the affective person. Um, yeah, I was very good at cognitive, but I think I connect with people more, I feel for them. So, uh, so when I left school, um, yeah, when I left school, I, um, yeah, so um, there was this uh, training, before I left school, there was even this training organized by Hope Worldwide and MCM Foundation, where I learned about leadership, service team, and, uh, and uh, leadership, service team, and HIV and AIDS. Then HIV and AIDS were, were raining. So I started, I, become, I became a peer educator. So I started educating everybody in HIV and AIDS. I was raising leadership, I was doing all of those stuff. Um, and I was doing it without, you know when you do something and you're happy teaching people, like you're not getting anything in return. In fact, when I did, when I learned computer engineering and computer installation and all of those stuff, I want to install for people for free. So they tell me like, ah, this in those days when you do computer installation, it's a lot of money. And you know, this is what you want, that is not giving me food. It's not giving me anything. I don't want your money. And I do those uh, installation for free. Uh, so it was me wanting to just give. In fact, I find because we request for money for things that I do then. Uh, you really find it difficult. And um, when I also got into the university, you know, I, I noticed that people had put with their academics and I was doing well. So I started organizing free tutorials and I did that between 100 to 400 level. You know, when people, you, you know people pay for tutorials in other places, people pay a lot of money for tutorials. And I'm doing, I did that for free from 100 to 400 level. In fact, I set questions, my questions some, somehow comes out in the exam like, People always want to have my question those days. People would always want to have my question that I said. Uh, and I did that for free. I 